already been chewed. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Oh! What up, everybody? Welcome to another Artie Ben Chew production. Today, we're going to talk about Sea of Thieves and the top 10 things you need to know to become a good pirate. This game doesn't come with any tutorial. There's no beginner missions, so you have to figure out everything on your own. This is the top 10 basics of the game that you need to know. So if you've already been playing the game, this video might not be for you. However, you might learn something that you don't already know. If you do see something in this video that helps you out, or you feel like I'm missing something, maybe you have a tip. Either way, we want to know what you have to say. We'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment below. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate your support. One. First, choose a faction you want to go on a voyage for, Gold Hoarders, Order of Souls, or Merchant Alliance. Each faction provides different and unique voyages. For the Merchant Alliance, set sail to fulfill contracts by collecting animals and turning them in at specific outposts by a specific time. For the Gold Hoarders, set sail using treasure maps and riddles to find your booty. For Order of Souls, you set sail to complete bounty quests, fighting waves of skeletons to bring home their captain's skull. Two. Each type of voyage gives you the gold. It's up to you to figure out how you want to get it. To enable the voyage, place it down on the voyage table located in the captain quarters of your ship. Voyaging solo or with a crew, you have to vote on it. Once you activate your voyage, use the right bumper to open up your voyage wheel to find out where you need to go. Find your destination on the map table and note your correct heading whether it be north, south, east, or west, and so on. Three. Now you know where you're going, it's time to set sail. In no particular order, raise your anchor, drop your sails, and go sails to the wind. Now you're on your way to complete your voyage. Always remember the direction you need to sail. Use the navigation compass in front of the wheel to stay on course. Also, a quick tip to make sure you're going in the right direction is to look over the ledge down to your map. It's a lot quicker and more efficient than running down in the captain's quarters to verify your position. Four. Did you know there's a tip to keep your vessel relatively straight? The gold handle on the wheel tells you one of three things. If it's in the center, it means your rudder is all the way to the left, all the way to the right, or straight. You can tell you're steering straight when the gold handle is in the middle. As it engages, you'll hear a noise, and you might feel a vibration. Five. If you want to remain covert, don't forget to turn out your lanterns. They make you easier to see, especially at night. You light up like a Christmas tree. You can be seen across the sea. Even in daylight, lanterns make you easier to spot through the spyglass. Six. As you approach your destination, raise sails all the way to coast safely to shore. If that doesn't work out, you can always drop your anchor. And as long as your sail is completely raised, you will coast to a complete stop. The benefit to this allows you to reposition your ship easily with the anchor up for quick escape or to more efficiently continue on to complete your voyages. It might take you a while to master this method and while you're learning, you're crashing into the island. If that's the case, use your wooden planks to patch up your holes and your bucket to empty out the water. Be sure to throw the water over the side of the boat because if you don't, it's going to go right back to the hull. Seven. Keep an eye out for the direction of the wind. As you steer through the open waters or try to navigate obstacles, the wind will inevitably change direction. While you're on the sea, it is critical to keep your sails angled to the wind to maintain an acceptable speed. Otherwise, your voyages are going to take forever. If you miss your destination or you pass an enemy ship, bust a U-turn to get back on track. Turn the wheel all the way to the left or the right and then drop your anchor. With this method, you'll be back on course in no time. You can also use this method to avoid obstacles in a pinch. Eight. Swimming back and forth from the boat to the island can take a minute. Use the sword lunge to speed up the process. To do this, hold down the attack button, right trigger, and use your heavy attack to glide across the water. Nine. If you find yourself taking on some skeletons or an enemy pirate, press Y to draw your sword. 
Hit the enemies with your quick attack by pressing right trigger, or use the heavy attack by holding right trigger. If you want to swap between your sword and your gun, press Y again. Put them away, press B. In order to block an attack, you have to press left trigger to hold up your sword to block. But who blocks anyway? 10. Anytime you see barrels, you can pick up planks, bananas, and cannonballs. It's good to keep stocked up. Bonus tip. Want to know an accurate way to count your paces? Hold your compass up by using left trigger and listen to your steps. As sure as the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, the North Star will keep you on track. And it's the brightest star in the sky. And there you have it, 10 tips to make you a good pirate, to make sure you know what you're doing in Sea of Thieves. Hey, if this video helped you out, if you see something we missed, or you have a tip, let us know by dropping a comment below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. As always, really appreciate it.